Hello and welcome to another brand new episode of Generation. Today we are going to meet up with an active Mongolian woman passionate about traveling, volunteering, and charity work. Let's meet Biamp Tsitsik Narmandakh. We can call her Tsegi. She is a backpacking traveler who journeyed to 10 countries by herself in an inexpensive way through long journey. Her main profession is an English language teacher and translator. She also studied as a human resource manager in 2016. Currently, she is working as a country director of the International Youth Society. Hello everyone, I am Bimtsik Narmandakh, International Youth Society Country Director. Thank you for having me here in Generation. And today we will see our my daily life and I would like to introduce our society and how I work and what's my hobby. I want to tell about this, more about this to you. This morning, we find Biamtsitsik at the Friends Cafe, which is located in the center of Ulaanbaatar city. What responsibilities do you have as the country director at the International Youth Society of Mongolia? For me, I have to network with other organization people and I would bring them to these young professionals and students and to introduce to each other. Can you introduce the International Youth Society to us? What is the vision of your organization? We all have 125 branches and across the, around the world and we all building like positive changes around the world which is like to create a peaceful world and society. And the National Youth Society of Mongolia empowers students and young professionals to create positive changes in their local communities by facilitating young people's efforts in their communities and in exchanging ideas and preparing for a better future as well as building social responsibility to create a sustainable and more peaceful world. What kinds of projects have you been part of? For us, I was Mongolia, it's still very new, so started since 2020, December. So we have only like two years now. So like during this time, we did uh, online webinars and also we really having networking days. We had networking days during the pandemic. And 2021, since I came back to my country, we did charity project which is we want to help single mom with children so it's very very important in our community because there are so many single mothers and children. What is currently your main focus? iOS Global is going to have some projects in 2023 and on okay soon it's gonna be the orphans uh, housing project will be happened in 2023 and also international conference in marketing entrepreneurship and also it's gonna be in 2023 on March in USA and there's also another one international conference in leadership and <clears throat> technology and also another entrepreneur Interpreneurs. It's gonna be in 2023 on May in Canada. So that's already it's already noticed. We noticed we are noticed from iOS Global, which is our main organization. So we are going to have it, but we should prepare a lot of things for it. She also participated in the International Women's Month Conference in 2021 as well as the World and Actions for Earth Global Leaders Summit 2021. In December 2021, International Youth Society of Mongolia organized the Wishing Box event which helped single mothers and their children. And they also organized twice the Going Global 2022 international event where Mongolian guides could participate for free and learn from others. How do you spend your working days? For me, I have a part-time job as business teacher and also help people who want to give some exams, IELTS or some others, and I prepare. I help them to prepare for it. Which part of your work does excite you the most? Uh, I'm excited most 
about the helping people and seeing their face is really impressive. And it's all about when people are learning a little things from the anything we are showing. And it's very important that I'm so impressed. And it makes me very happy. It makes our society people very happy. And <clears throat> so this is about the charity project things. And it's about summit and the conferences we are going to, we are organizing. So when we sing, people are learned from their even little things. Then it's things like we feel it. It's we done something very good for people. Who is the main person you are working together with? For our organization, the partners I used to work together, it's um, from Singapore, Ms. An Poa. He, she has her own Hemisphere Foundation and she does many charity projects around the world. And she was very, very, very intelligent. She's a very intelligent person and very talented person for doing other things. So another one I would say I was global founder Peter Ratna and it was Pia Ratna, sorry, Pia Ratna also from Nepal. He's a founder of this IWS Global. And now we are working together to have this project in 2023. And what we can do, we are planning to do something even from Mongolian guys. If we can really, you know, encourage these conferences, if we can really attend for it. Her morning coffee is finished now. Next destination is the organization which operates in the transport and logistics field. Hello guys again, hi. So our TIS online and offline English course, we teach business English, which is we all give, we, I give them all what they need, like about the office and the something meeting and conferences or how you can write the reports, right? And how you can talk well in the conference and summit. So now I'm going to teach with, I'm going to teach this lesson to the um, Tuming Resource Logistic Transport Company people and they're very excited. I'm also excited to give them today's lesson. Okay, so now let's come in together. So our class will be first 30 minutes, we will have a process. We don't really use much presses as much as we do, but today we are going to learn only these three. But we will have a break, then we will learn more in sentence. So our lessons will be in speaking as conversations, like talking to each other and giving the examples and have a break 10 minutes, then we will have a different things. We will, I will show you the presentation. Teamwork English Speakers is an offline and online English course academy which teaches English speaking practices through presentations and conversations. They have an effective course and an exclusive method so that you can learn English at your own pace. I had very nice students and yeah, like the students I had on online and people from different areas in Mongolia like Irtnet city, Darham city, and South Gobi desert which is Omungo, so in the Ulaanbaatar. So the students I had uh, since I started this business 2020 and it's all like around the different areas and they're trying to tell me about their home countries and also they're having very good ideas about to learn their English and then I give them their more ideas but they also want to share their what they want and the exciting moment I had is it was on my birthday so my students gave me very beautiful little handmade small gifts on online, which I was so impressed. And also one day I had a very good feeling about how I learn, how I, sorry, how I teach. And I seen this from my students and then they show me the different presentation by themselves, which is like the presentation was about how we learned in English, like how teacher, how our teacher really teaches us. So they showed me something similar and then I was so impressed. That was a good, memorable, memorable time. 
It has started in the beginning of 2020. They have held some online free workshops to improve people's English skills and joined in some charity events which were organized by Save the Children and other charity organizations as she is also the founder of the training course. What is your unique teaching method? I do like to teach English and I, I started this uh, preparation since 2014. And yeah, it's my pleasure to have uh, classes with people. I teach, okay, for example, for business English, I teach with some, okay, presses for occasions because the presses learning for occasions, all occasions is you have to understand that how you can really communicate it with people in the conference summit or in the meeting, right? And then you can explain about your plan and task and what do you really want to show that is things with people, like what do you really want to explain? So the way you can explain in more formal way. So I try to teach more with more like conversations and also presentations. So it's usually mixed with conversation and presentation. She studied as an English language teacher and translator at the Mongolian National University in 2013. And she graduated as a human resource manager from the Mongolian Human Resource Academy in 2016. She has working experience as a tour agent and marketing manager working at the View of Asia. What part of Mongolian society would you like to change the most in the future? So the society I would like to change is I want to see around the world. I want to know how others work. So I want to then really, really see as different as compare themselves with other country people. And if they learn these things, why you can do this? Because you also have same things like two hands, two legs, and you have a brain smart, then you can do this. So I would like to bring them to their more social life and they learn the English and they will go through another countries as a backpacker, traveler, or they will go through for studying. And I want to see many different things around the world. Now lunchtime has started. She loves to hike and go for walks. So she is going hiking near Chingiste Mountain, which is located at the northern edge of the city. Okay, so we are here. Now it's uh, called Zurch Old, and I really like to hike in during the day, but especially the, right now, it's very nice and sun shining outside, right? I don't really prefer to walk in the early morning during this winter. I usually like to do it during the, during the day, which is like around the lunchtime or after lunchtime. Yeah. What so, what's my hobby? I really like sports. I like to hiking, I like cycling, I like play volleyball, volleyball and also tennis. And I also like to drawing, painting and exploring areas is most important for me to have it, have it as a hobby. So here is beautiful nature. I really like to enjoy with this area to explore, to see around. So it's having fresh air. It makes me more, more relaxed. It makes my day. So I really like to hiking. She is keenly interested in traveling. She has traveled around 10 countries. During the pandemic lockdown period, she stayed in Singapore and she learned how to communicate well with others and exploring new things, which is so important in everyone's life. Even though it was hard for her to live in another country, she remained patient to learn many things. So, I'm a backpacker. When I will travel to other countries, like Southeast Asia, you know guys, it's very hot and it's very, very tropical, hot country. And I can see this is like different, right? In here, you can see something very different. So now it's our winter time and I'm here to have my fresh air, to have a connection with this beautiful nature. Yeah, the traveling around the world always give you ideas, always you learn new things, always understanding something different. So also like you can have a more new friends from other countries, so like expanding your networks, you know, 
learning things and then show your efforts. This is all important. This is very necessary things in your life. So the unique trip I had in my life was to go Kazakhstan because I went there by train and then I had to sleep over at the public train for two nights. And firstly, I was going to Langude, which is like Russian Mongolian border city. And I was so struggling, you guys, you know, like 6 a.m. early morning, I have to get up from the train and I, I want to go to this Leningrad square and I really want to explore the area. And I was so struggling because the minus 30 something, it was too cold, very, very cold. But that was so memorable, unique time of me, of my travels. Today's plan of her is finished. Now she'll go to the gallery as another hobby of her is drawing. Let's go together and look at the exhibition at the first floor of Blue Moon Gallery. How do you see yourself in the future? What is the main thing you would like to achieve over the next 10 years? I really like to see these art galleries because it makes me really, really happy and very calm. And I like to be in peaceful area. It makes me very calm. And now I'm here because I really like to visit every two weeks, one time. And my next 10 years plan is about to help our community, our students, our all young professionals, young generations, to grow their mindset more, to be in positive and change their, you know, community in good and right way. So that's my plan for next years. So I'm really having here, have a good ideas. I'm also having more comfortable feeling about to know how we can really help our nature. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Tegi, for sharing your day with us. What advice would you like to give to the younger generation? Okay, so my daily routine is going to finish in this place. And I would like to suggest you guys try to do things as new and different and Try to come over here to visit in this beautiful gallery to see these old art drawings from these high school children. It's all about nature, but it's all about something new. Ideas will give it to you. So I would like to suggest you guys, please explore things as new and try, new, try to get a new ideas and efforts without bringing all ideas along for their right, okay? So, I'm so happy to be here with you guys and thank you so much for having me here in Generation TV program. I'm so happy to be, I was so happy to be with you guys. Today we had the chance to meet a woman who is interested in traveling and volunteering. Our guest taught us how important it is to be active and never stop learning. Thank you for being with us. We'll see our audience again in another two weeks.